Hello everyone, welcome back to Python Tutorials by Code Warriors. Today we are going to start the basics of a Python programming language. First of all, I want to explain, I want to tell you something, I want to inform you something about this course. That this is not just any course that we are doing right now. Uh, this is a, we are going to complete the basics, everything about Python programming language, the basics that you need. And uh, at the end of the course, we will provide you course completion certificate. If you watch every video, and uh, as an attendance, we have uh, found this way to if you uh, watch every video and comment the summary of the video in the comment section of, our, of that video, and then at the end of the course, we will conduct an exam. It was it will be a simple exam just to check uh, of your knowledge and whether you have watched our videos watch the complete course and uh, if you qualify that exam we will provide you a course completion certificate by code warriors so watch this video watch everything learn python and as you know a great pandemic going on right now everyone is in lockdown everyone is in home it's a great time to learn something new something interesting and i'm telling you this no programming language is more interesting than python Right now, and no programming language has more scope in the uh, technology world, any stream than Python. I mean, if you talk about right now the uh, great stream, the most uh, what you say productive stream right now, the most uh, the stream that has more growth in technology world is MLOps or you can say machine learning and uh, data science side and there are only few languages that work on data science, like uh, SAS language, R, Python, and then there are few like MATLAB or Octave. And in all of these, Python has the most extensive libraries, much more to do with the Python, and much in a much easy way. It's the most successful language in that field, and every company is demanding right now Python, right? So it's a great time to learn Python, learn it by heart, give your whole on it, and you will get a course completion certificate from our side. Okay, so let's get on with it. Today's our topic is data types in Python. So data type, what are data types first of all? Data types are the building blocks of any programming languages. You talk about any programming language, there will be a data type and it will be a building block. If there's no data type, then it's very difficult to manage the data. Now, what is data type in particular? There are two terms we see there, data and type. Now data, if we talk about data, what is data? Data is just uh, any number or any value, any character or any word, anything is data. And if we define its type, like what kind of data that is, that becomes a data type. Now in the same way in our programming language, if we use any number or if we use any decimal number, if we use any word, anything we use or a kind of a list or something, then these are all, then to define these numbers or decimals, we use a data type like integers, floating point numbers. We will see in the further videos, in, in the same video, we will see what, what are all those important data types. There are eight important data types we are going to study in this course. And uh, as you know, Python is, uh, I have explained in my previous video, Python is dynamically typed. Dynamically typed means uh, like you can change its data type at any moment. Like if you talk about other languages like Java, C, C++, they are all statistically, st sorry, statically typed. Means if you defined a data type to one variable, like if you have said uh, this variable is integer, then now you can't change this. Now you can't uh, put a value of floating number in that. Sorry, in that variable. So, but Python is so versatile, it's so flexible. It is dynamically typed. You can change data type at any moment you want. So let's see what are these eight important data types that we are going to study. These are integers, floating point numbers, strings, lists, dictionaries, tuples, sets, booleans. Now, what are the integers? Integers just if you have studied math, you know what are integers. They are just normal numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 200, 300, 400. Any number is an integer. 
then there comes a floating point number now these floating points are numbers like which has a decimal point in it 2.3 4.6 even as you see there is written 100.0 now if you have used decimal we know 100.0 is 100 but if we have used a decimal dot in there then that becomes a floating point number and its type becomes float an integer its time becomes like becomes in okay so now let's talk about strings what are strings their data type as you can see here written type str we define strings with a word str and they are ordered sequence of characters now what do you mean by this line is if you see a word hello in there now hello comprises of like five characters this h this e this l they are all separate characters in there now if you comprise all of these characters and put them inside a double inverted comma or a single inverted commas then it becomes a string now in the strings you can use a numbers also like 2000 i have written over here to the awesome japanese characters now you have to rem uh, remember one thing if you are using 2000 inside a string inside double putting it inside double inverted comma then now it is not a number now you can't use it like a number if, if you want to add 2000 plus 20 and 2000 is a string then it will not add it will give you an error because 2000 is a string and 20 is a number so it will not make it 2020 it will just show you an error so you have to remember if you are putting anything either the letters or the numbers or some symbols inside double inverted commas single inverted commas then it becomes a string so now let's get into the next data type list now list its data type is list only as you can see and the list are the ordered sequence of objects like 10 hello 200.3 now if you see here 10 is an integer hello is a string 200.3 is a floating point number as you can see over here now when you comprise all of these things you know one uh, set in a one sequence of objects then it becomes a list now if you see you make a list in your home for your like uh, for anything you create a list it, it comprises of all kinds of stuff there must be there will be a number there will be names there will be different different things it all comes under the list list comprises everything but we have to notice to see one thing if you are making a list then you have to use this big braces over here and we are putting number you don't have to use these double inverted commas but if you are using a string you have to put double inverted commas and they are all separated by commas so let's get on to the next of our data type dictionaries now dictionaries this data type is its data type is dict take short form of dictionary and these are unordered key value pairs now what do you mean by key value pairs now key value pairs means it's like there is some kind of a key and there is its value like if you see here it is given name and what is the name frankie then another we will create age then what is the age 20 then another we can create any other kind of what is address or date of birth anything we can create it's like name and its value what it's like name and its value yeah please what is its value so as it says key and value pairs are like if you see in dictionary what you see there's a word and there is its meaning written the same way it is there's this word and what that word means is written over here in the value section and these dictionaries are consist of uh, it's comprised inside curly braces we have to remember this part and they are separated by commas then there comes a the tuples now tuples are another ordered sequence of objects like lists but there is one difference between list and op, uh, tuples in the list we can change these things these numbers these sequence like we can change hello and we can put anything else over here but in the tuples they are immutable you can change them like you can't just replace it you can add things in it but you can't replace it that's the only difference and the that's why tuples are comprised inside small braces parentheses then there comes a the set their uh, data type is set set just like normal these are unordered collection of unique objects a b you have studied in maths how to write sets right 
we put it inside curly braces then they are on the double inverted commas a comma b the same way there is nothing different difference about it but they are of the same type unordered collection of unique objects if there is uh, unique objects means they are very of same type everyone now then there is the boolean boolean their data type is boolean and they are logical they are like logical data types they only show either true or false they are they have only two values inside it if situation is true then it will give true if situation is false it will give false now we will discuss all of these data types important data types like string list dictionary tuple set in we will make every we will make a separate videos of every data and we will work on them separately we will understand them separately i am not going through right now with all of these in a detail because right now talking in detail about them you will won't be able to understand what those are unless i do some kind of a practical over it because when i will make every separate video on all those separate topics i will explain them deeply i will give uh, you practical i will show you practicals on it i will give you examples of each of their cases how we can work on it how we can manipulate those stuff and then you can able to understand it much more clearly and you will able to learn it much easily okay so we end our video with here see you in our next video and if you are if you like this video just press the like button and if you want to watch our videos or in the future and want to go for the certificate want to complete the course i would suggest complete the course learn the python it's a very good important language right now then subscribe our channel scold boy yes just put this that click on that red button thanks for watching the video see you tomorrow